Hi all, this is Linking Yellow, and I'm getting started on another uh, Let's Create. I uh, haven't done one of these for a while. Um, if you haven't seen any of them yet, pretty much uh, I just uh, create a map in in Hammer. Um, you know, I'll, I'll usually do this specifically if I'm trying something really new that I think you guys might enjoy uh, either uh, exploring it with me or you know, if if you're trying to get into Hammer yourself and you want to see how some of this type of stuff is done, you know, take a look at it. So I'm going to not open, uh, go to new. I don't press that one often. All right, new map. So let me just uh, let me just quickly create a small little map. Let me uh, get some appropriate scale. Yeah. Alright, so oop. It's been a while since I've used hammer. Uh oh, oh, oh okay, yep. I can't uh can't copy it until I make it. It's a mistake I make maybe a little too often. So floor. Let's get some floor texture. Uh, sure, for what I'm doing that's good. Alright. So let's take this and Ceiling. All right, and actually, I um practicing some some well some better practice, and I'm gonna mix uh, change this to. It's probably the wrong way to do it. Change this to uh, no clip. It's, it's been a couple of months. Give give me a break. Not no no draw. Uh, not not no clip. All right. Apply. All right, yeah, and I'll just uh, I'll create the the actual textures a little bit later. All right, let's get a good wall. That looks good. All right, another one right there. All right, rotation, good. There we go. All right, now let's get a floor. Oop, already there. Oops, floor apply. There we go. And that didn't do any of the outside ones, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So good walls. Let's get some walls. Walls. Wall. Alright, what do I want for a wall? I want something kind of that might match the floor in a way. Oh, I didn't want that one. Control Z. Okay, got all those. Select the wall. Hmm. I don't think this is what I wanted. Um. So this is one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Well, that's a little hard to count. Okay, I'll just switch it to 0.5 by 0.5. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Oops. All right. Well, I mean, I could do that. All right. Bring it down a bit. Oh, wrong one. Down a bit. Should line up perfectly since I uh, I choose sides that'll work well. All right, how's that? A little bit more. All right. Just taking a look at that. All right, that looks. Looks pretty bad, actually. Let uh, me. Okay. You know what? I don't care that much right now. Point twenty-five and point twenty-five. Why not? Yeah. 
All right, so let's go to get ceiling. I spelled ceiling wrong. Badoom, okay. That should do. That really doesn't fit. You know what, I don't care. All right, so now let me create a few layers here. Just give the room some, and I'll explain what I'm doing after I've set up the room. So I think I think you'll like it. Okay. All right, this one. I'll have this right there and go up by two. And then I'll have another one. Let's see, have one. And all right. And then down here will be water, which I'll add in a little bit. All right, this one, wall texture. Let's get some floor texture. And was that it? Oh, no, some floor texture right here too. That's, yep, that's floor. All right, so this looks pretty good. Let me, uh, well, why don't I just get some uh, some water texture in here real quickly? All right, so yeah, let me uh, get this to be a complete new draw. Good, good. All right, it's back to that, and I'll get this to cover the whole ground and yeah. That looks kind of good, maybe. No, I definitely want something where I can just I can just hop up pretty easily. All right, so I'm not sure if I'm choosing the right one. Let's uh, toxic. Um, oops. Toxic. Take a look at what's here. It's usually the first one from what I've seen. Let's see how that works. That looks good. Looks yeah, that looks really good. All right. And there's uh, there's an entity that makes water look good. So I will explain what it is unique that I'm doing. I hope this isn't annoying and is actually like building up suspense. Like I'm kind of hoping. All right, water. Yep. All right, and yeah, that looks good. So let me grab player right there. All right, and just to make sure that this all comes out the way I think it will. Yeah, let me, uh, let me try running the map. All right, yeah, I need to save it. Um, real, hmm, real parkour. Yeah, save it inside real parkour folder. There we go. All right, I don't want it to run. All right, so let's see how this came out. All right, what did I call it again? It is called Real Parkour. All right.
I just kind of want to see if the uh, if the water came out the way I'm hoping it that it did. Obviously, I don't want it to kill me, so I didn't put any like trigger hurts or anything like that in it. Okay, so the uh, the walls are a problem. I'll change that. This. Okay. Yep. That's pretty cool. I just ah, uh, I like this. All right. <laughs> All right, so, oops. All right, exit there. Let's change the walls. It could have just been a lack of texture, just maybe. All right, wall. Hmm. That looks a bit better. Looks looks like it fits a lot more in the room. All right. Actually, I also want to add a light in here. Grab a light. I don't care what it's named. Let's just put it in the middle of the room, see how that works. Alright. Save and run. Mm hmm. Okay, yep, yep, much better. And in that that died. Oh my goodness, keep falling in. Alright, so, yeah, and then I also want to add a wall over here, so, hmm, yeah, I want to add a few more walls, maybe, maybe a little bit later. Um, I'm going to get started working on the actual, the actual new mechanic now. Alright, so, first of all, move this guy up. I want to just pretty much start off by testing something. If this does not work, then the whole basis for what I'm thinking about is it's just not, it's, it's just going to be a failure. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Get a... Doom. All right, I'm gonna want this to be invisible. Invisible. All right, and let's make it a funk brush. Funk brush. Here we go. All right, I want it to always be solid. Um, solidity. To not always be solid. Uh, I do want it to be able to toggle. I do want it to start on. It probably will start on. Where's the start disabled? No, it's not start disabled. All right, so let's get a button on the side here so that, you know what? Let's just test this the way it is. All right. Save and run the map. So I want to see if I'll be able to turn very easily, and I want to see if it will make me fall. Hmm. I fell. Alright, maybe if I make this bigger... All right, let's try that. All right, real parkour. Nope. Okay, well, there's a few other things I can try. All right, yep, yeah, I'm going to parent it to the player. 
and I want that to be lowercase p. And give it a name. It's parkour brush. All right. Save and run. All right. Doggone it. All right, let me give it a texture and see if Yep. All right, give it that and yeah, I'll try third person. It's to uh see see if this is working. Okay. Oh, oh, it's staying up there. Is there a reason for this? Oh, okay. Yeah, let me get a logic auto to, uh, to parent it. Alright, so, yeah, this, this might just not be parenting on the spot. So let me get this more manageable of a size. Here we go. All right, and set add on map spawn parkour brush to parent to set parent. Here we go to player. Here we go. Let's try that. Is there a hotkey for... Okay, yeah. F, nope, I don't want to do that. F9 pauses the recording. Okay. Who? Hmm. Well, I can't jump. Maybe, maybe if I put that down a bit. All right, save and run. Hmm. It is being obtrusive, but it's not being obtrusive in the right way. So I can still fall. Hmm. Um, I'm walking, walking up it. Hmm, this, this is not going the way I'd hoped. All right. Well, there is more than one way to skin a cat. All right. Sue, so, let's make this a logic measure movement. Here we go. Oops. I want that to be in the same spot. just want to move the brush itself. Alright. Oops. Go right there. Let's see here. Um, name uh, test movement. Alright, pretty much the reason why I'm thinking this might be of any use at all is because I've noticed that, you know, w when I was first building my first paint gun, I noticed that, you know, I had a brush in the middle pretty much to use along with the measurement here, and when the brush was inside the player and it was not set to toggle or always toggle, no, when it was set to either toggle or always solid, when it wasn't set to never solid, um, it would keep the player from moving. So I'm thinking, well, what if I had the player, like, what if I use that to purposefully freeze the player? Uh, there are some other ways to do this. Um, 
and I'll have to look for some other ways if, if this doesn't work. But uh, in the meantime, I'm, I know that this can be useful for keeping something right at the same spot as the player. So let's see. Entity to measure. Uh, player. Measure reference. Uh, parkour brush entity to move wait do I want that to be the parkour brush I don't know actually the more I think about it the more I don't think that that's, that's going to work alright so I need to come up with something else alright I might try that again later if, if nothing else seems to work but I'm sure that there's more ways to get this done what if I what if I made this really, really big? I wonder if that would do the trick. Here, let's get... Alright, and... Save if this is... Alright, let me switch this back to uh, Logic Auto. All right, let's look at the outputs, yep. All right, wish my mouse was a bit faster. All right. It's not working as planned. So, is this behind me or, is, or am I inside it? Or is this in front of me? No, no, okay. I cannot move. Okay, I can move a little bit once in a while. That's a little confusing. All right, let's see. Third person. Uh, third person. Okay, so yeah, I'm inside it. All right, so this idea is not going to work in the slightest. What if... No. Hmm. Alright, so I want to find another way to get the player to stay still or to not be able to move hmm I could maybe do some trickery with a point view maybe but then I also want the player to be able to move to actually I haven't messed around with point views much but from what I've seen I actually believe that this um or that that when the point view is used and then when it's when it's cancelled, the player ends up right in the same spot that the point view is. Uh, it's worth testing out. Let me let me take a look at that. All right. So this is not really important anymore. Let me put this guy back on the ground. Right there. Good. Flat on the ground. Alright, so a point view, let's say, right here. Oops, what did I just do? There we go. Point view control. Alright, and I'll name this Parkour. All right, now let's get this to look at a wall. All right, let me get it to look upward. All right, let's get it to look right there. Let's see, from this point of view, 
Ah, oh, that looks good. All right, now what do I want to do to get it to trigger? And then can I get it to move? All right, to trigger. Yeah, I'm going to just use a button to start off with. I'll be using actual triggers and stuff when I'm actually ready to get it set up. Let's start with a button. There we go. Name button. You can't get much more elegant than that. Alright, so now for outputs, add an output uh, unpressed parkour enable. Let me see what other outputs, because I haven't used this one before, so let me just teleport to view? I think I'll use that for when it's disabled. Alright. Alright, so let me grab a player proxy for disabling it. Alright. Player pro proxy. Here we go. Logic player proxy. I completely got that wrong, but apparently it didn't care, so that's good. Alright. Name... Core proxy. Alright. And let's see, I want to do an on jump. Here we go. On jump. This right here. Parkour. Teleport to view. Yeah. Alright, so let me give this a chance. Save and run. I, I'm pretty sure that when I run it, it saves at the same time. That's just a habit from before I figured that out. Alright, so parkour map. Let's see. That's not working as planned. Why is that just pointing downward? Hmm, is there something that I don't understand about this? Alright, it, it is my first time using this, so... <laughs> Alright, follow player? No. Uh, start at player? No. Freeze player? Yes. Infinite holds time? Yes. Snap to goal angles? Make player non-solid, yes. Interruptible by player. I already have something that'll interrupt it. Uh, yeah, so I don't want any unexpected things. All right. So let's see if that does it. All right, run the map. Okay, good. Now if I press the button, hmm, alright, so it's there, maybe I did something wrong there, alright, let me, let me see if interruptible apply player, what situations that works under, alright, and run the map again, Uh, nope. Okay, and enter. Um, it's it's not being interruptible by by me. So maybe. Oop. No, I don't want to use anything there. All right. So maybe let's not have an interruptible player, but maybe not freeze player because maybe maybe freezing player is keeping the player from being able to jump, and it's when the player jumps that it recognizes going on or that that it teleports does it disable I wonder well I'll find out all right dude here we go yes all right all right and nothing works except jump all right and then jump this is working out better than I thought it would. Uh, 
Alright, so let's give this some more flavor. Alright, so let's get a funk move linear to parent to this. Yeah. A couple of them, actually. Yeah, a couple of them. Alright, let me build a couple of brushes. Actually, let me put this in a more centralized location. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Alright, I also want... Hmm... Okay, so pretty much I'm trying to figure out a way that I can get this to sidle and pretty much be able to only sidle when I'm along the wall. Alright, so let's grab. Alright, and when I do finish putting everything together that I need for this, I'm probably going to put it into its own. Um, uh, its own uh, instance. Alright. Let's get an invisible right now here. It will not be solid. Alright, control T and what was it? Funk move linear. Funk move linear. There we go. Alright, name. Let's see. Camera. Let's see. Right. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if this were an, an instance, would it do it locally or global? Well, there's only one way to find out. I can fix any problems with troubleshooting later. It's probably a very bad way to look at it. Alright, so not solid. As I definitely want the player to be able to to exit. Alright, so let's see. Direction. Uh, that that looks kind of good. Let me see. Yeah, yep, that starts off pretty good. And I want it to go yep, start position 0, speed 100, that seems fine. Move distance um, 128. And that looks good. All right. Also, a game UI. All right. Game UI. All right, and then I want it so that when this is pressed, activate the game UI. So let me call it Sidle UI. And. Yeah, when this is pressed, add saddle UI to enable. Activate. Okay, it's activate. Alright, and when the player presses the left button, I want... First of all, I want to clear the parents for this one, and then like an instant later, I want this to parent to this guy right here and then an instant later I want this guy to actually start moving alright so let's try that alright on on left on move left there we go move left parkour I want him to clear parent copy paste after point one, I want it to set parent to, um, what's this thing called again? Camera right. Let me, let me just copy that for a second. Man, I need a faster mouse. <laughs> Alright. Set parent, 
camera right. All right, and then add one more for on point zero three, no point zero two. All right, and I want on move left. This guy move right to. I want him to open, but I don't want him to be interruptible. So just open. Let's see how that goes. All right, run that map. All right. Oh. Um. I'm a little confused. Where am I? <laughs> uh, it didn't work as planned. First of all, I went the wrong direction. So. So this guy doesn't have a parent. Hmm. Let's try that instead. Why did it do that? I hmm. Why was it the other one? Am I getting my left I'm not getting my left and my right mixed up. I am getting my left and my right mixed up. I hate it when that happens. Alright. So uh, on move, yeah, all these should be on move right. On move right. Okay. And then uh, this right here had it right. Okay. So, zero, zero, zero. Good. Alright, let me try that again. It probably made a little bit more sense to you watching it but yeah I, I I sometimes do just mess up on my left and my right it's it's really it's not something I would expect okay so why did it why did it push me so much all right and why am I stuck did I not set it to solid I was so sure I set it to solid Okay, should this not be interrupting? Alright, can I... Okay, so, okay, pressing space moves me right there. But there's something else that's keeping me here. Let me take a look. Alright, so I'll definitely want to specify that it's only at certain times. Yeah. Alright, so is there, does this enable or disable? Let's see. Pressing this we, uh, should enable the proxy. On pressed, proxy. Let's see, force, force controller. Hmm. Okay, there's a lot of interesting stuff to uh to keep an eye on here, but but no, this can't be added or unadded. All right. I can. Can add output clear an output? I wonder. Because if that's the case, then I could just, you know, add the output, or add this output right here. And. And then when, whenever I were to jump, I'd be able to clear the output. If clearing outputs is a thing. But I definitely don't want it so that. Hmm. Oh, oh, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. All right, so I'll just get a co-op manager. Oops. All right. 
Co-op manager. All right. And so when jump is there like any unjump no. Nope. Snow on landing. Yeah, okay. So on jump I want the co-op manager which I should really have named first. Alright. Name uh, Let's see. Exit Parkour. Yep. Yeah. Alright. So on jump, exit parkour, I want A, C, set A to true. All right, and then copy and paste it, set A to false with a, with a little bit of a countdown, maybe point two. Yeah, very small countdown. And, Okay, so when all right, yeah, there we go. So exit parkour. When that's pressed, I want uh, B to be true. Yep. So let me take a look at the inputs here. Make sure I have this all right. All right. So when the button is pressed, then B is true. When the yeah, when jump A is true for only a little bit, and to make B false, I want okay, yeah, that'll be an output for this one. On all change to true, self. Uh, yeah, I should probably specify itself and set was it b to false yeah set b to false and that'll be on a countdown timer of maybe 0.1 and then add on all true i also want to be able to exit out of that so Parkour teleport. Teleport to view. Alright, and I also, yep, want to try a few things at once. Let's get this set to the 180. 181. Not good enough. All right, and I want to name this one left, so I can tell my left from my right. Ha! All right, and I want that one activated from the UI when left is pressed. All right, copy, paste, and I want left. Good, good. All right, and so parent is camera left. Ooh, wrong one. Control Z. Ooh, no, 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 no. Control Y. Oh, doggone it! I just ruined a lot. Oh, I don't have. Oh no, those were inputs. Those are inputs. All right, what was giving those inputs? The game UI. Okay, outputs. Yep. All right, let's get the left ones. Okay. So uh, I want that to be parkour and set parent to camera left. Okay, 
so it clears parents. So, all right. Let's see if this works and yep. Let's see from map. All right, here, Badoon. Hmm. All right, I also want so that when I jump, these are turned off, but I never checked to make sure that they were not solid. They should be not solid. I pretty clearly remember setting them to not be solid. Not solid. Not solid. All right, what's stopping me from moving? Hmm. Oh. Does it freeze player or something like this? Does this freeze the player? No. Infant hold time. Make player non solid. Interruptible by player. Hmm. Let's take a look at what's here. Alright, so when I jump down, what is keeping... Hmm... It's player being... Alright, what makes these move? Yeah, it's a... Uh, what? This should have some inputs. I'm pretty sure... I remember giving it some inputs. Okay. No, that was camera left open. Okay. And, okay, so that should make it be able to go back. I want to... Hmm. Alright, so this is going to take quite a bit of work. Let's see. I want to make it so that these close after. So how much time does it take? Let me... All right, so speed, let me set a more appropriate speed. Let's say, um, 64, 64. All right, and so then after two seconds, I'll want it to close. All right, so where it says, go to inputs, where it's open, copy, paste, uh, 2.02, .02. I want it to closed. Here we go. And that one that closes it. Paste. I want. Alright, let's go. One press move left. I want the right one closed. The left one closed. Alright. All right, when it closes, I kind of want it to speed up. All right, so. So copy, paste, set speed. Set speed, set speed is in here. Set speed to 
let's say 128.0, so it'll be one tenth of a second for it to go back. And, all right, copy, paste. And, let's see, after that one tenth of a second, I want to go back to its normal speed of 64. Alright, and then on each of those, I want it to set parent again. No, I don't. Nope, I want the parents to be cleared. Wait, do I have... Do I have the parents being cleared during that in the middle of time? Let's see. Let's get both of these copy paste at this time. No. At that time, I want it to clear parent. Alright, that should hopefully make this repeatable. So let's see if that works. Go one. Okay. It is repeatable, but it doesn't keep me in one spot. Alright, and then I still can't move after this. Still not sure why. Okay, um, I might also want to disable that when I teleport the player. Alright, so at the point where it, for each one of these, oh, inputs is what I'm looking for. Let's grab each one at here and no, clear parent and clear parent. Oh, I can't do both at the same time. All right, clear parent. Where's the other clear parent? All right here. All right. No. Nope, not that one. The other clear parent. There we go. Okay. Maybe at point oh one. That seems fair. Hopefully. Alright. Let's see if that works. Doggone it. Why isn't that working? Alright, so let's take a look at these outputs again. Alright, so clear parent before it closes. That should do the trick. Oh, the game UI. Freezes the player. That might be a problem. Alright. But what is it that moves it back? Is it like, is the player being pushed back? No. Okay. Alright, 
let's change that to 0 0.05. Yeah. And then the, um, yep, the set speed I want. Ooh, where's the other set speed? All right, here it is. All right, so 0.15. All right, let's see if these changes help at all. All right. Oh, am I, did I miscalculate? This is 64 and it's going 128. Uh, 64 is one half of 128, isn't it? Yeah, I'm so sure it is. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So, it's going the whole distance. Hmm. Oh, oh, it does work, though, when I, uh, when I leave here. Uh, I'm a little confused on where I am now. <laughs> Alright, so this is still pretty buggy. I've got a general concept down, um, which I can continue to work later. As of the moment, though, I'm getting really tired. Um, I've got some time to work on these at nights. So I'm hoping to finish this sometime this week, but uh, thanks for watching. This has been part one um, of this Let's Create. And yeah, if, if there's anything that, that you think that I could if you're watching this during this week, if there's anything that you think that I'm missing that that could be of use, then yeah, just just let me know. Um, there there is there is more to my plans than just what I'm doing now. You know, like I plan on having like little uh, little bendy arms, you know, stretching out in front. But you know, first things first, I want to be able to get a clean sidle from one side to the other. You know, I also plan on. You know, having a way to jump backwards to another wall, and also a way to hop up. Of course, that's uh, a very important part. All right. Um, yeah. Worst comes to worst, I don't even need to get it to sidle. You know, I can just have a hop up or a hop back. I would like the sidle though, because that would be so cool. I'm probably not using the right word, um, <laughs> but you know, just just to crawl from left to right or from right right to left. Alright, well, uh, thanks for watching. Um, have a good day. Bye-bye.